Joss Whedon has submitted his outline for Avengers 2. I don't know why that is so exciting, but it is. It's December 5th, I'm Naomi Kyle, and here's your fix. Capcom has announced that new Resident Evil 6 multiplayer DLC is heading to Xbox 360 on December 18th. The three timed exclusive modes this pack brings are called Predator, Survivors, and Onslaught. They'll go for 320 Microsoft points each, or you can get all three for a cool 720 points. If you're not Sony fans, I'm sure you'll get your zombie fix soon enough. Halo 4's Crimson Map Pack DLC is dropping on December 10th, and I know what achievements it's bringing. Don't worry, there's no new story content or missions with this pack, so there's not much in the way of spoilers from these eight achievements. For an early look at what crazy stunts you'll be expected to pull off, pause the video right now, or head to the address below. We have some early details for the next batch of Mass Effect 3 story DLC, and by early, I mean very early. We don't have a name or release date yet, but we do know that several Mass Effect 3 writers will be returning for this one, as well as the series veteran composer Sam Hulick. As for voice talent, looks like Seth Green, aka Joker, will be making a return, as will the actor who played Kaden Elenko. I'm down. I'll have tons of awesome Nintendo news for you tomorrow, but for now, this will have to tide you over. Google Maps has been announced for Wii U, and it's kind of cool, actually. The software combines Google Maps Street View and the Wii U's panoramic view to allow you to twist, turn, and rotate the gamepad to get a better look at the scenery that virtually surround you. Google Maps on Wii U will be a free download for a limited time after its debut in Japan this January. Head on over to IGN.com slash Wii for all of today's big Nintendo news, or just wait for me to wrap it up for you tomorrow. Your call. So this is kind of a big deal. A US judge has ruled against Motorola regarding a proposed ban of Xbox 360 sales in the United States. You. The ruling comes as part of an ongoing patent dispute in which Microsoft was found to have violated multiple Motorola patents. As a top commenter in our IGN article, Mega Transvestite put it, Wow, I really thought Xbox would be banned in the US. I also thought Lindsay Lohan would win an Oscar. And I've sold everything I own because of the Mayan predictions. You know, I just love you guys. He said he'd be back, and he wasn't kidding. After over a year of negotiating, a deal to make a new set of Terminator movies has finally been worked out. I won't bore you with the details, but suffice to say that in addition to new movies, there's now the potential for new Terminator television shows, video games, serials, postcards, Barbies, and more. If you want the nitty gritty, type the URL below in a separate tab. Better hurry before it's all hasta la vista, baby. We already knew that Jamie Foxx was in talks to play Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2, but now he sort of accidentally confirmed it. Maybe. It's pretty convincing, actually. In a recent interview, the actor said, I met with the director, I met with Andrew Garfield, and we talked. I think Electro will be an exciting character to play because he's a genius electrician type person. He is that. In any case, Spider-Man 2 is scheduled for a May 2nd, 2014 release. For more on this and all things Hollywood, make sure to check in with IGN on The Weekly Wood. And that's your fix for December 5th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN. I don't think I'm that kind of craft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's type I'm a fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura.